Hello world, oh, this is Wolfstar Games, I'm Anton Savetin, and welcome to my very first unboxing video, something I have never done before. So, just in my hands, I have the Kingdom Hearts Ultimania, the story before Kingdom Hearts 3. So I found out about this book from Kingdom Hearts YouTuber, uh, The Gamers Joint. And, you know, he was showing off a little bit of it. And, you know, with me, you know, Kingdom Hearts got me back into gaming in such a huge way, you know, all the way back in 2005. So I'm like, when I found out about this, I'm like, I gotta get this. <laughs> <laughs> and I and you know ever since then I have played you know every single Kingdom Hearts game uh, save for the original uh, GBA version of Chain of Memories so I figured why not do this unboxing with you guys and you know, I've I've never bought any piece of merchandise before. And, and you know, it's one thing to get like the Kingdom Hearts uh, pins that you get from the deluxe or limited editions, but it's a whole nother thing to actually get you know a piece of merchandise <laughs> I, I keep wanting to say it that way <laughs> uh, f that is actually gaming related and I've you know never bought anything like this before so I am of course like giddy about it <laughs> so let's actually get to the unboxing <laughs> okay I'm just gonna kind of tear into the cardboard here. It's like very easy to tear into. Okay. And you know, this has a fair amount of weight to it. Packing slip, there we go. Ooh, this is a big book. I mean, that, this cover, is amazing it's all like silver it's all kind of silvery and just so pristine it's like <laughs> it's like uh, um here like i'm caressing Sora's face <laughs> um but anyway <laughs> let me get my scissors here to get into the plastic wrap ever so ever so carefully ah, there we go it's like I've been excited for this ever since I placed the order and I cannot tell you how happy I am to actually have this in my hands now it's like I've been looking forward to this so much and I've been looking forward to looking through it, and I figured my have of having my first reactions. Oh, <laughs> that just kind of came off the back. Oh, yeah. On the back we have uh, Riku and Kyrie here. <laughs> That's oh man, and this is a pretty. Uh, a, fairly hefty book it, it, you know it's not exactly a uh, light book I mean look how wide this is <laughs> or not wide but long yeah that just came right off the back so yeah well Kingdom Hearts Ultimania the story before Kingdom Hearts 3 a gorgeous oversized hardcover collecting Kingdom Hearts art and trivia leading up to the events of the most current entry in the beloved saga. 
Yeah, and I, I, I did beforehand uh, look up to see uh, when this actually released. And it, it re just recently released on uh, June 29th. So it's not. Uh, so it hasn't been out that long, and it's the first Ultimania that has been released in English. So I've been super looking forward to this. So I, 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 I would get the other Kingdom Hearts Ultimanias, but the only thing is, is I can't read Japanese. <laughs> it's like I want to learn the language though. Uh, anyway, uh, let's see. Witness a meticulous showcase of each unique Kingdom Hearts world, character, and piece of equipment encompassing all the games predating Kingdom Hearts 3. Explore character profiles from icons like King, M King Mickey and Goofy to modern favorites like Tron and Captain Jack Sparrow. Study detailed summaries of each game's story, along with rare concept designs and storyboards. Okay, that's cool. Uh, Dark Horse Books, Square Enix, and Disney present Kingdom Hearts Ultimania The Story Before Kingdom Hearts 3. This official English translation of the Japanese fan favorite reference guide is sure to capture the imaginations of Disney fans and gamers everywhere yeah and i am also that a disney fan <laughs> so i mean that's what got me interested in kingdom hearts to begin with i didn't even know that there i didn't even know the uh final fantasy uh side of it so let's actually open this book up here nice nice uh open cover here But all the Kingdom Hearts titles. Yeah. All the Kingdom Hearts titles here. Birth by Sleep. First Kingdom Hearts. It looks like it's all in... Uh, all in chronological order. Which is nice. It's like... It, even though that I already know the uh, timeline. And... Oh, wow, this is a pretty long book, uh, over, t over 250 pages. These, wow, this is th thick paper, very thick paper. So let's actually open, let's open to our random page here. <laughs> okay, so I just kind of flipped to uh, the worlds of Prankster's Paradise Prank, uh, Prankster's Paradise and the Country of the Musketeers which are Disney World which are Disney Worlds in uh, Dream Drop Distance so that let's see Okay, so Prankster's Paradise, uh, an amusement park filled with everything that children like. Children who play here long enough end up turning into donkeys. <laughs> it's like I, it's like with me being a Disney fan as well. It's like I know the story of Pinocchio very well. That that was one that I grew up watching a lot. But uh, let's see. If I can find, well, let me actually look at the uh, table of contents here and look up something that has a little more meat to it. Uh, let's see. Let's actually go to page 40 because that has one of my favorite characters. Which is Zigbar. Yes, he's one of my favorite characters in the organization, save for uh, Roxas. 
the free shooter who hides his true feelings behind glinting eyes. <laughs> they say eyes, but you know, Zigbar wears a eye patch, so more like uh, behind a glinting eye. <laughs> uh, let's see. <clears throat> uh, a one-eyed man who, who's one of the longest-serving members of the organization. He's been working with uh, Xehanort since his human days. Sora once defeated him, and later he showed up again as one of the 13 Seekers of Darkness. <laughs> uh, and, of course, they also have his human form listed here. Uh, Brag. They say human form, but uh, we, uh, we we in the fandom call them somebodies. <laughs> oh, and there is uh, there's even a quote from here uh, from him. <laughs> All I'm trying to tell you, traitor, is that your time is up. <laughs> uh, he has he has so many great lines. And of course, as if! <laughs> it's like that, that's like his catchphrase, and I love it. Uh, but, oh man, there's so much to look at in this book. So much. The patch over Zigbar's right eye and the scar on his left cheek give the in intimidating impression of an experienced warrior. But he has a condescending attitude when he talks to his opponents. Okay, that, that's that's actually kind of interesting um, because I I never really got that he was being condescending. It, <laughs> I mean, the way he talks and the, the way he acts towards, you know, like, Sora and, you know, uh, and other characters, he doesn't particularly sound condescending, you know? Um, you know, for, for, for the way he is, it's like, he, I think he's just a, a, an amazing character. A voice to perfection, in, in English, anyway, uh, by uh, James Patrick Stewart and you know and this role of, of his Zigbar is the first thing I have known of his the one other th thing being that I know of his is uh, his guest appearance in the uh, show Supernatural but yeah uh, oh my god there's there is so much here to look at. I'm going to uh, I'm going to read this from you know cover to cover and enjoy reading every little bit lear learning every little uh nuanced detail that this book has to offer. And of of course like I'm sure all the Disney worlds from all the games are listed in here. I mean, if I look at the table of contents here. Yeah, there's like a complete world guide. Yeah, just everything it looks like. You know, all the character, all the main characters. Let let's actually flip to the uh, one of the art galleries here let's see let's go to let's go to the very first game with the art gallery 170 of course the classic poster it's like I, I love this picture I also <laughs> really like this one here because of D Donald and Goofy's faces. <laughs> it's like their faces are so funny. It, it's like their faces are so funny. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that, that's cool. There's a monochrome version here of this picture, just minus the uh, heart-shaped moon. That one's pretty cool. This is a real. This is a really cool art piece here. Like I love that one. Yeah, th this one's really cool. I really like this one. It's like I've seen this picture before. I've seen this picture of Sora before here. Right here. <laughs> um, and I guess the right here is the title. It, it's probably hard to see here, but it says beach. I did not know that there were that there was a name for it. Oh, and this uh, this one is called Bonds. But yeah, this is all very very cool. It's like maybe kind of flip through here. It's like with all the different characters. Uh, one of my most favorites, Cloud. <laughs> it's like he, Cloud. Oh my God! Ever since I first played Kingdom Hearts One, you know, back in two thousand five, I thought Cloud was so cool. It's like I, <laughs> I instantly like took to him so and you know since then of you know with playing the other games as well as you know the original final fantasy 7 and final fantasy 7 remake which i have lp'd um it's i mean he he's one of my most favorite characters in all of gaming so <clears throat> and hence why that's why he's also in my profile picture a lot of enemies here not really set up really well here to do this i feel like i need like a book stand well, here, and we have some design drawings here it's like sora here with a couple of different uh facial expressions i'm gonna love this book and and actually uh this this book is not the only book that has gotten an English translation. There's, I know that there's one other Kingdom Hearts book that has a, an English translation that is actually going to be coming out in October, and it's you know called the uh, Kingdom Hearts Character Files. I believe that's the correct title and I am definitely going to get that as well I just may do an unboxing of that one as well so look forward to that <laughs> uh, but yeah I, I hope you I didn't want to show too too terribly much but I thought I'd show some um, but I am definitely going to enjoy looking through this book and you know i it's like <laughs> i think it's official that i'm a kingdom hearts nerd by buying this i feel <laughs> i mean I, I may not have a life-sized uh, keyblade of my own but you know this is i feel close enough <laughs> But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed watching this uh, little unboxing video. I, en I enjoyed uh, showing this off. By all means, let me know what you guys um, <laughs> think about my first unboxing video. I was a little worried jumping into this because I had never done one before, but oh, I thought I'd take a chance. <laughs> so anyway, 
I hope you all enjoyed watching, and thank you all for watching. And as always, everyone, I hope you all have a great day or night, wherever you may be.